In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving partial fraction using the TI-84 plus NSP calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. And after going through this video, I guarantee you guys that you will be able to solve basically any problem involving partial fraction using the TI-84 plus NSP calculator in seconds for your multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay till the very end of this video as usual you guys are going to learn a lot all right so having known that let's get started before i bring the ti 84 plus calculator let's quickly look at the questions we're going to practice with so we have question one resolve this expression into partial fraction and these are the options questions to resolve this expression into partial fraction and these are the options very very interesting guys so let's bring the calculator now and go into the details okay so this is the ti84 plus scientific calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to reset the calculator very very important guys the essence of resetting the calculator is to put your calculator in default mode all right to remove or wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored on it so to quickly reset the calculator all you have to do is to press this second button then press this plus button you press 7 for reset Okay, we want to clear our RAM. We press one for it. We want to reset our RAM, so you press two, then it will reset. All right, done. Okay, RAM cleared. We are now in a good position. Press this clear button. Okay, now guys, the next thing you have to do will be to store a number, of which I highly recommend two, in cases of partial fraction. Alright, the reason I'm recommending to is that I have practiced with it for a long time now and I have not found any error with it. So I highly recommend to for you guys. Now you can choose to experiment with any other number you want, but I recommend to. So be practicing with two for now, guys, to be at a safe side. Okay, so to start to um this calculator, all you have to do is press the number first two, then press the stop button. We want to store it as X, press this button for it. Alright, then press enter. And it will indicate that this value 2 has been stored as X on the calculator. We are good to go. So, guys, the idea behind solving partial fraction with the T84 plus calculator is to use the stored number to simplify or evaluate the question and also use the same stored number to evaluate or simplify the options to get the right answer all right very, very important guys let's experiment with question once so that you will understand what i'm saying better okay so we have thought already let's simplify the expression we have in question one now okay so we have 5x is in fraction press alpha this trace button this y equal to button then press one so we have 5x at the numerator plus 2 okay over we have 3x square at the denominator so we have 3x square okay plus 4x all right minus 4 okay so right now let's press record to enter and see our output so we have 3 over 4 or if you want to put it in decimal press this mouse button so decimal is option 2 answer to decimal press enter so we have it to be 0 0.75 right now we're going to simplify or evaluate the options anyone that gives us 3 over 4 or 0 0.75 will basically be our answer all right so let's clear this so let's begin with option A. So it's in fraction, we have 1 over x plus 2 plus 2 over 3x minus 2. Alright, so we have, bring out the fraction sign, you press alpha and trace button, then y equal to button, press 1. So we have 1 over x plus 2 okay then go back this place we have plus there plus and also in fraction alpha this trace button 
press this okay press one so what do we have there we have 2 over 30x minus 2 okay 2 over 3x minus 2 all right so let's press equals now enter to see whether we're going to have 3 over 4 or 0 0.75 over for confirm guys so the correct option here is what option a so this is basically the idea behind it this is how you can solve problems involving partial fraction using the ti84 plus scientific athletes now you can choose to evaluate or simplify option b c and d to check if you can get similar values with option a okay but i know that you won't get similar values with option a our correct option here is what option a so that's it for this kind of problem using the t84 plus calculator all right guys before we saw one more example example two so that you guys will know this better if you are new to this channel ensure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video guys to tell me how you feel for what you're learning from this video i really appreciate that guys and it also helps the youtube algorithm to push out this video to more people to notice it so having done that guys let's go ahead and solve one more question so that you guys will understand this better this concept all right so let's clear this we are still going to make use of the two restored so the question there we asked to resolve minus 8 over x plus 1 plus 11 over x plus 2 all right so it's in fraction so we press alpha trace button then fraction press one all right so we have minus eight now guys don't make use of this negative sign all right for the minus whenever you want to start your expression with a negative sign with this calculator don't make use of this one it will end up giving you syntax error as output in most cases so let's begin with this one guys this is the correct negative sign button to use so we have minus 8 okay over x so press this button for x then we have plus 1 all right count this please we have plus in fraction alpha this all right this press 1 okay 11 all right over we have x plus 2 so that's it guys let's press enter button now equal to to see our outputs so we have 1 over 12 right now let's simplify the options anyone that gives us 1 over 12 will be our answer okay so let's begin with option a let's clear this is in fraction after this okay fraction so press this all right so what do we have there we have 3x minus 5 okay 3x minus 5 over 7x square okay what is we have okay s square not 7 s square s square plus 7 s plus 2 so let's delete this guys delete this okay so we have s square plus 7 x and plus 2 okay so we are good to go let's press enter button now no we got one of our 12 so let's check option b let's clear this all right very interesting guys all right fraction so we have press one so option b you have 3x okay minus 5 you can choose to press this minus sign because we're now starting with negative sign this expression we have gone beyond the initial value okay minus 5 over we have s square 
Okay, plus 3x. Okay, minus 2. So, it's plus, not minus. Let's move these guys. Yeah, plus 2. So, we have 3x minus 5 over x squared plus 3x plus 2. So, we are good to go, guys. Let's press enter button now to see whether we're going to have 1 over 12 as an output. 1 over 12 exactly. So, guys, the correct option for this question 2 is what option B. So, feel free to check option C and D, but I know you get the wrong value. So, this is it, guys. This is how I solve problems involving partial fraction using this TI 84 plus scientific calculator in second for my multiple choice algebra questions. All right, so hope you learned something interesting for this video. Okay, guys, so let's close the class here, guys. If you are new to this channel once more, ensure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel for what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding what I have taught in this video or talked about in this video, feel free to leave your question in the comment section below and I will be sure to give you a response. Alright guys, now I click on the screen above and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to reset your calculator once you are done. All you have to do is to press second button, this plus button, press 7 to reset, press 1 to reset all around, then press 2 and it will begin to reset. Alright, it's done. Clear. Yeah. That's it. Thanks for watching once more.